Welcome back to Fact News. I am your host, Brett Van Hawken. We are, we are continuing our 24-7 coverage of the nuclear emergency in Austin, Texas. We just, had just heard remarks from the President of the United States who told us the, the Department of Homeland Security is nuclear incidents report team has disabled a nuclear device from an, found in an IHOP parking lot in Austin, Texas, where the South by Southwest conference was due to begin later today. Uh, that the FBI has already taken the suspect, suspect terrorists into custody. And that all indications are that this is an isolated incident, but authorities are remaining on high alert around the country. For more on this story, we're joined by our nuclear terrorism expert, the former CIA director, Bill Hickok. Uh, welcome, Dr. Hickok. Hickok. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you for having me. So, Dr. Hickok, can you shed any light on the president's remarks? Uh, certainly. As the uh, president said around uh, 7 a.m. today, uh, authorities detected a uh, small nuclear device in Austin, Texas. Um, where the South by Southwest Festival is uh, about to kick off. I spoke with a commander of the Department of Energy's uh, nuclear incident response team a few moments ago, and I can tell you that uh, they neutralized the device in the parking lot of the uh, IHOP where it was found. Um, I'm told the device appeared to have been made by uh, amateurs, and uh, it's already been transported to a, a nearby military base for a forensic analysis. Who are these terrorists? My sources tell me that the, uh, the FBI is taking into custody several members of a uh, a Belgian terrorist group. Uh, they call themselves uh, the Stroopwafel. I'm sorry? Uh, the Belgian Waffles. They're, uh, they're a little known Belgian terrorist organization with a stated uh, goal of uh, destroying the International House of Pancakes. The what? What do they have against pancakes? Well, Brett, uh, Europe's been fighting a waffle insurgency uh, since 2012, uh, ever since the European Union banned waffles um, because they're uh, disgusting. Everyone, at least here in the United States, knows that pancakes are superior. Enough about these terrorists. Uh, where did they get a nuclear weapon? Um, well, my contacts in the uh, Russian security services uh, tell me that the materials for the weapon came from uh, an old Soviet nuclear weapons storage facility in the in the Ukraine. So they got it from the Russians? I mean, the Ukraines? No, not exactly. Like, the Belgian waffles took an old device with no trigger, uh, stripped it down, and turned it into a, a working bomb, uh, probably right there at the event power plant. And how exactly would they have constructed the bomb? How would a device like this work? Well, uh... You know, it's a uh, pretty common knowledge how to make a gun-type uranium bomb. Uh, takes maybe four months. You need like a nuclear physicist, um, engineer, some machinists, uh, explosive dude. Um, uh, you know, you just need uh, two highly enriched uranium hemispheres um, in a steel barrel. Um, basically, you just shoot a plug of uranium down the barrel. Uh, it's probably about a step ladder at about a thousand meters per second. Um, like basically as fast as a high-speed rifle run, and uh, the goal is to you know slam the masses together before the nuclear chain reaction starts. Um, once they join up, the uranium reaches its critical mass and explodes. And uh, but you know with a uh, sort of primitive garage-made device like they would have made, um, there's going to be some uncertainty about the explosive yield. Interesting. If the bomb had gone off, how much damage would it have done to the city of Austin? Well, it was about half the size of the Hiroshima device. Um, so that's about six kilotons, um, give or take. Um, they had it in a parking lot at ground level. The Hiroshima bomb was a, an air burst, so it did a lot more damage because it blew up in the air. Um, so uh, roughly speaking, everything within about a I don't know, half mile had been completely destroyed. Um, severe destruction out to a couple miles, and then fires, you know, all over the place. Most of Austin would have been destroyed. Okay, Dr. Hickok. Well, I understand you got to get a plane to Washington. Yeah, present easily. Uh, thanks for joining us. Mine. That was Dr. Bill Hickok, former director of the Central Intelligence Agency. We'll be right back after these important messages.